Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, before starting today's news, my request to all dear friends please press like button if this information is useful for you and also hit the subscribe button along with bell icon for future news updates, let's start today's news. In a leap towards building laser weapons capability, India has made a breakthrough in its efforts to develop directed energy weapons, or DUs, that can potentially end future wars before they begin. It's not exactly what we saw in Star Wars films or Flash Gordon comics decades ago, but do such as high-powered lasers can destroy enemy missiles, aircraft, and advanced weaponry based on electronic circuitry. India's primary defense research organization Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, recently conducted a successful test of a laser system mounted on a truck, and plans are now afoot to create a more powerful laser with a longer range, people familiar with the development told ET. Private companies such as Kalyani Group and Rolls-Royce are also looking to develop or build DUs in the country. DUs are weapons that produce a beam of concentrated electromagnetic energy. There are mainly two types of DUs, high-powered lasers and microwaves. DUs are anti-personnel as they can cause intolerable burning of an area in the body and blindness, and anti-material as it can be used to destroy missiles, ships, UAVs, and fry circuitry of equipment deployed in a battlefield. While information is not available on whether India is developing microwave weapons, DRDO tested a 1 kW laser weapon system mounted on a truck at Chitradurga in Karnataka towards August end. The laser beam hit a target located 250 meters away, an official said. It took 36 seconds for it to make a hole in the metal sheet. The test was conducted in the presence of then Defense Minister Arun Jaitla, the person said. The next step is to test a higher powered laser, 2 kilowatts, mounted on the truck against a metal sheet located at a distance of 1 kilometer. 2 DRDO Laboratories Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences, CHESS, and Laser Science and Technology Center, LASTEC, are currently working on developing the source for generating the laser, officials said. At present, the source of the laser, which is the heart of the system, is imported from Germany. Other challenges include developing a cooling mechanism for the system that heats up when the laser beam is fired, ensuring a focused beam towards a distant target and optoelectronics, or optronics, involving lenses to create that focus, they said. The weapon is not ready yet and it will take years for it to happen, said an official. DRDO did not officially respond to a questionnaire on the subject sent by ET to it as of press time Wednesday. Private companies too are looking to enter due space. A senior official at Kalyani Group said Kalyani Center for Technology and Innovation is in the initial stages of developing dues. We are identifying two segments, lethality to kill and survivability aimed at destroying incoming missiles, the person told ET. We will initially be working on the latter and are setting up a lab in Pune. Rolls-Royce Global Strategic Marketing Director Ben Story in a conversation with ET had recently said that there are conversations happening between the company and India on dues. A release by Press Information Bureau back in December 2013 had confirmed that DRDO's Chess and Lastec were researching on dues and laser technology, respectively. A 2015 DRDO bullet entitled Technology Focus stated that Lastec with the help of a collaborator had developed a unit of 1 kW single-mode fiber laser and work was on for developing 5 kW and 9 kW fiber laser sources. Lastec has also developed a 10 kW chemical oxygen iodine laser, coil, and is working on developing a 30 to 100 kW vehicle-mounted coil system, sources said. 